Layups here. Certainly, so I do believe we are underway here. Obviously on the T side, it will be Fnatic. LGB on the CT side. And it looks like Fnatic are going to be hitting up that B side first of all. Crimp will be laying in wait. He does have side with him, but this has been a swift move from Pe uh, Pronax there. Literally taking over the site in one move. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be really, really tough for, <coughs> for LGB to come into. Yep. Three versus five after Planet B is pretty much virtually impossible. Or maybe not. <laughs> They're proving you wrong, player <laughs> yeah. by player. Twist and Olaf there picking up a kill each, and they've got their way into the site. But still, Fnatic very much pressured. Schneider still up, finding Twist. And there we go. Flasher kicks into gear. And this looks like it is going to be a Fnatic first round. And what is the importance of this? Well, basically, you know, Fnatic been playing very shaky in the group stage, getting this start on stage getting the motivation up, getting, you know, getting into the game early. And that can be really, really beneficial for them, considering LGB is probably going to be really nervous playing sure. in front of all those people and, you know, getting a bad start. If, if we see them losing the first weapon round as well, I think it might haunt them for quite some time in this game before they actually start getting into it. And also you can see there, there's, there's <coughs> some, some th thoughts I had that as playing CT pistol round, I mean, the first half on the first map, you can't just stand and wait for them because your aim is going to be cold and it's, it, it's suicide because they take off the bomb site and then it's GG pretty much. Well, let's see if you know the CT site can maybe get a little bit of fire going behind them because as you said, they're, they're being quite passive at the moment. Actually, you know, Scythe and Crims both sitting quite far back. You know, they're not really getting aggressive. They're seeming to kind of take the time. They've picked up a couple of deagles as well. Let's see if that comes through. Flusher just testing out the B side again. It worked so well before, but the bomb's being left quite far back. Do you think Fnatic are just taking their time here? Yeah, they definitely should. I mean, considering how dangerous the so-called eco rounds are nowadays, <laughs> you see, I mean, the win percentage on it is huge, and I love it, but they really need to take, take it care and do it slowly together. Yeah, Flusher received a big bit of damage. I think you're yeah. perfectly right in saying that. So he's going to have to fall back and touch here. I think he actually switched out his AK for Galil in the mix. So uh, Flusher now... Has to be a little bit more careful. Pronax is pushing in, and actually, Scythe picked up the kill. Devilwalk finally replies. But that B-side is not a walk in the park for Fnatic. They are finally through, but look at their HP. They are low here. Do you think LGB could turn this? Uh, I, I think, actually, they should. If they don't get a fast kill here, they should go for exit frags, uh, like, like uh, yep. right now. But <clears throat> considering they, they, they communicate so well, so they know that a lot of people are low in the team, so they could go for it if they, if they got a quick kill there, they can go for like, yeah, then it's 3 or 3, you can get a weapon or two, and then start picking them off one by one, but yeah, right now when they don't get it, she just go for exits. Now, you did highlight earlier that the big factor here is going to be LGB's nerves, pretty yes. much. At what point, wow, um, at what point do you think we all see that nervousness go through? Will it be the weapon round coming up, possibly? I, I think so as well. I mean, what I would do as LGB right now, I would do something. I, I wouldn't just stand on standard on standard CT setup at this mm. point. I would do something aggressive. I mean, at least take aggressive shot in the beginning of the round two, kind of get into the flow. You're standing there waiting. It's, it's suicide because you've got to be cold after those rounds and, yeah. you know, try to get into game mentally. That's really important for them and hopefully do something crazy, get an entry frag or something, so. And that would really shake Fnatic to the core, because you know, at a very bad group stage in you know comparison to let's say DreamHack, they, you know, a, a big aggressive push that really catches them off guard would probably shake them quite badly. But we are seeing Fnatic once again trying out this B side, uh, Flusher, Schneider, and Pronax all testing the waters. Flusher's gonna find Crims, and you know it's not going too well yet. And Flusher now looking for more. He's gonna be edging in with that Glock. Schneider dropping up the smoke. And actually, Flusher's just going for it himself. He's only got five oh. HP, but through the smoke. <laughs> And just that spam paying through here. Twist does get one back, but it's just Dennis left in a 1v4. There's not much to do here. Yeah, really. really nice play by Pronax there, running sure. in with only his pistol there, spamming through smoke, having some luck, but do, doing a great job there. <laughs> you, you can see the rotation from LGB was actually coming in there, but it was in vain considering getting taken down so, slow, so fast there. Sure. Now, quick question, you know, Fnatic's playstyle on Inferno, what are you reading to this? Do they look confident? Do they look, you know, fairly normal? Are they playing very standard here? Yeah, I, th I think they, so far they look pretty confident, but then again, it was a fast push B, to get into entries there, and then it's been so anti eco rounds, even though they're dangerous. Uh, I, I think we're going to see yeah. it the first weapon round, and or the first two weapon rounds, pretty much how confident they are. If they manage to win this one, though, I think they're going to be pretty much in the flow, and LGB might start choking. I, I really want these guys to do well. They perform so well through the groups, and you know they, they look good. They you know they were able to take you know a map off NIP back in DreamHack. You know they are such a talented side. So I'm hoping we can see a little bit of that magic coming through here. Obviously, very early days. We're only into round three, so you know we can't you know take too much from this. Obviously, when you don't pick up that pistol, you're gonna be down a couple of rounds. Yeah. And obviously another one on the board here for Fnatic.
Just to remind you of the score, so far Schneider doing really nicely for himself, 6-0. to zero. Uh, Flusher, 4-1, to one. all of them performing quite nicely. Um, to be fair, LGB are getting a couple of kills here and there. We saw the impact that they can have, they took a yeah. blow. But this is the important round. Now, how do you think Fnatic's going about this? You know, they, they've been kind of hitting up that B-side constantly here. Yeah. Even Devil was trying to get the opening every now and then. Is it going to be the same thing? Well, basically, of course, since they had a day off, the, those two teams have been spending I would say like 10, or not 10s, but like five hours at least looking at just how, how they play. So it's, it's going to be mind games right now. How, how do, do the others play? Do, do they dare play in their own game or are they going to mix it up considering they know what we're doing? So yep. it, it kind of comes down to that. Well, we are seeing a little bit of a difference. It looks like Fnatic are looking maybe a little bit more towards A. They've left Flusher by B. Twisted in a great spot here. He could really catch out Fnatic if he plays this right. You can see on the X-ray there are four players near or next to him, three in the apartments. Spot Schneider takes a shot. He's got to expect more. Oh, he looked the wrong way. Devil was there. And now we do see Fnatic keeping hold of the apartments. Now Olaf and Dennis, the last two towards Day. Olaf now can't quite hold on either. JW just powering forward. Dennis now, last man in the line. He's got to pick these up. Oh, beautiful play from Dennis. Two kills back to back. Side finds one. Now just Flusher standing. Is this the aggressive nature that we wanted to see from LGB here? Yeah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> I was a bit worried in the start when Twist, yeah. he probably could have kept his nerve and waiting to see For another sure. one before they started fire because they had no clue where it was. Yep. Then Dennis, who's been playing so good throughout this tournament, is coming in with two huge frags there, turning the round around. Very important stuff here, and, and he third. will find the yeah, third. Yeah, I mean, it was wow. that through the whole group stage and doing that again. So it's, I mean, that, that's the thing you need to, to get into this game. Having somebody doing a hero round like that and just keep on rolling from that one. Really important round for LGB. Yeah, I was about to say, you know, you, you said, you told us earlier, LGB depending on getting, you know, confident on stage, yeah. feeling comfortable. And that round is probably just going to give them <laughs> such a boost, you know. They're, they're key player stepping up again. We are seeing a very similar start from Fnatic here. Do you think they're going to try the same thing or maybe switch up a little later? Well, basically, if you, if you look at Fnatic, they, they kind of play. So all the rounds look the same in the start. So people yep. are, aren't supposed to read what they're doing. It's really smart that mm -hmm. they're doing. And <clears throat> I think Pronax and Karnak are doing a great job with, with their tactic. Tactics. So, so basically, uh, LGB is never going to be able to know what they're doing before the attack actually comes, unless they get an entry or. So, so. Twist isn't in the apartment, so you know maybe there's going to be a little bit more play on the site from LGB. They might not lose a player so early on. JW's already received a little bit of damage, not too much, but Twist has found Devil with this time. Let's see if he can follow up with maybe a second rather than just being taken down so early on. But Fnatic might need to weigh up their options here. Looks like they're backing up the site. Yeah, and yeah, actually, we can see <coughs> that. Uh, they have a really good setup towards B if they're pushing in now. They, they can't attack since, since it's smoked and, uh, yeah. Not that much time left as well. Let's bear Not in mind, really. you know, Not 35 really. seconds. They're going to have to commit to this. Pronax is kind of edging in. Crims quickly adapting with the flash, trying to drop that one over. Give a couple of seconds more towards the LGB side, but Pronax pushes him, finds Crims. Side now has the action over. Has found Flusher, so bring it back to a 4v3 in favor to LGB. And this is nicely played from these guys. Schneider's gone down. Just JW and Pronax standing. JW is still over by A. Pronax, the last man on the side. That can be fully diffused with JW not even being near it. Dennis going to cover off, and JW yeah. saving that gun. Yeah, and I was actually a bit worried though, because LGB, they they, sh they know that they're attacking B there, even though they're, they're, yeah. they're like <coughs> five versus four. They should have rotated the guy closer towards B there, and the guy who was standing outside uh, towards seat spawn should have rotated into to the hallways, because he's basically gone. They're going to flash him away 100%. So he's basically doing nothing, allowing Fnatic to run up versus one player on the side, and that's how you throw around. Luckily, they did some nice shots there, but in general, they, that's... Pretty sloppy play, I would say. Do you think that's maybe because they're still quite a new team, essentially? You know, they're not as maybe founded as Fnatic or your NIPs. There's still a couple of mistakes, and maybe having a manager like yourself or a captain who can look over their shoulder and say, "Actually, guys, come on, that was that was a weak point there." Yeah, could really help them. Definitely, definitely. I mean, they're, they're a somewhat new team as well, and I mean that that's something that takes years to practice to 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 make it flawless in every map. I, and I mean, we're not doing it yet in NIP <laughs> either, either. So it's like. Certainly takes time, but you can see uh, the likes of Devil barking out the orders on your screen in the bottom right there. He looks uh, pretty pretty focused, actually. At the very start of the day, I saw him walking down the corridor, completely you know, focused stare towards this game. Uh, but we are seeing, you know, finally, Fnatic with the opening shot here. Olaf has gone down. Siphon Crims left by B, Dennis and Twist over by A. And it looks like they're kind of weighing up their options, Fnatic. They've done the similar start. As you said, they like to kind of do the same thing, you know, very you know, similar aspects. Flusher over by that B site, up Banana, the rest of them kind of round A. And I'm curious where they're going to commit here, because that bomb still in the hands of Pronex, not 
quite found its place, but you can see they are actually edging into a, a couple of players, but the bomb's not there. Do you think this is a B push? Yeah, it should be. I mean, for LDB it's a real tough situation because you, you either need to take two guys towards B or leave one guy behind, behind there, so it's kind of gamble. So we are now seeing just three players left for the LGB side, but to be fair, they were by B. Cyber and Krim still standing, yeah. and actually we're seeing Philander going all the way back around towards A. Yeah. Dennis is making his way through, but can he get there in time? That's five players to take down, let's bear in mind. Yeah. Yeah, if actually Dennis managed to take down the bomb, they're going to get the real dangerous since we have seven, oh, six left. wow. That is perfect play already. Sadly, the bomb was not in the hands of the player he took down. That is now down and ticking. Leaving it a 2v3, still quite possible, I'd say. It's not you know, beyond the realm of capability, but do you think you know, LGB are going to go for this? No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Definitely not, as they run away. <laughs> you can call me the CS Oracle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just sort of. Uh, no, I don't think that's, that's a smart idea. I mean, mm. considering they don't have too much money at the moment, they, they yep. will be able to buy next round. And they, I mean, it's going to be a tight game, so saving your weapons. When, when it's three versus, when you're two versus, to three, the bomb is down. Yeah, ha the T's have a lot of time to take good after plant position. It's it should be impossible to win it, unless somebody's making you know highlight clip or something. I mean <laughs> so, something amazing. But in general, yeah. it, it should be really hard. And looking currently at the scoreboard, it's all even for LGB. Everyone on four plays, excluding Crimson on zero to four. So I'm kind of hoping you pick something up here because as soon as you get in that kind of score in your hands, you start you know, really getting nervous in front of a crowd like that. <laughs> and people start noticing, you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, you know, this is the one time I really want to perform. So hopefully you can kind of get on the scoreboard. We've got a big bike coming in. First time we're seeing Dennis with the AWP here. So kind of curious to see how this one comes into play and uh, see what he can do with it, really. This time, early grenades going down by Banana. Maybe Crimson Co. not happy with allowing Flusher, Pronax, and Schneider such free reign there. They have done a good bit of damage. Yeah, they have, they have. Flusher's kind of hurt, and he, he's, he's probably the guy you want to hurt together with JW if you're going to hurt somebody in Fnatic. Let's see how much that comes into effect here. LGB not playing as passively this time, quite aggressively you know, willing to peek here and taking on Pronax. Got to be a little bit careful. One minute and eight left on the board. No real commitment from Fnatic yet. They're still taking their time. Testing the waters. We are getting a little bit of spray down. Sipe's been taken down solo. 22 HP. Flush down here. And will they go for it? Pronax getting that bomb. Leaving Flusher once again by Banana. Over to where we go. But Twist, Olaf and Dennis look fairly set up here. Yeah. I mean, what, what pretty much you want to do in that sense is to, to force the CTs to leave two players inside the B-bomb side. They su succeeded with that, but uh, so now it's going to be three people on A, so it should be a bit easier to attack than Dennis for. Well, Twist has found the first on the Pronax. Dennis having to back away with the AWP after missing that first shot. Fnatic pushing through, three kills back to back. Twist, Olaf and Dennis down. A is open for the taking and the B players nowhere to be found. Nah, I mean, they, that's that's a really good round by Fnatic there because mm -hmm. they, they managed to hurt Sype so much inside B. So they're forced to stand on defensive position inside B. They're not even close to being able to rotate to, towards the A-bomb sites. And we're pushing there. That's the whole goal with Fnatic taking over the banana there. Unless they get an entry, obviously, they're going to rush in. But it, they, they, they managed to keep them away, and then they attacked the A-bomb side. Three people there, three versus five. It's quite doable, and they, they managed to do it. Devil Walk with a really nice headshot, taking out Dennis there, who's standing with AWP. That's the key kill for the whole round. Brilliantly played, and I, I've got to ask you the question. Does this look like a slightly more dangerous Fnatic? We thought this might be a little bit more LGB-sided. Yeah, definitely. Currently, Fnatic are looking quite good. Flusher did find Sype in the end, but... You know, this is still early doors, obviously. This is still a very early game with the first map, and everyone expects this to go to three. Yeah. Do you think Inferno is going to be a Fnatic map overall? Uh, I would say, looking at this beforehand, uh, I would say it's the LGB map. Uh, I mean, Fnatic, mm, they're good at Inferno, but LGB has been playing very, very well uh, from what I've seen. And it, 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 I think having a bad start like they're having now, I mean, they're on, they're on the easier side of the map. Uh, having a bad start, that's not good for the self-confidence when you're a quite inexperienced team. You don't have a coach with mm. you like Fnatic do, it's not good. Well, we are seeing the CT side with just pistols beside them, excluding Crims, who did manage to uh, keep hold of that M4. And actually, they're doing quite nicely with it. You know, the danger of these pistol rounds is absolutely unreal, but we are seeing now just three standing. Once again, Fnatic fully executed on towards AJW, Devil and Flusher alive. But Dennis is looking like he wants to come through here, and an aid comes out. Flusher does get tagged up, but obviously AK in hand. He's in a slightly better spot, really. Can they turn this around? They're still going for it, and LGB, we know they are talented. Talented Swedes, but right now Flusher dispatches him, but Sype does get the AK, finds Flusher, 2v2 now, they're going for this one. Devil comes around the back though, lovely timing, finding Crims there. And now 2v1, Sype 
time to back away. I think he's going to get out of there. He does keep the AK at least, yeah. and he might get an exit here. Yeah, that was a really smart play by Fnatic there. Even though they were a bit sloppy in the beginning of the round, JW is really low, and <coughs> Devilwalk yeah. takes somewhat gamble, but a really smart play going around them, so they don't give give the LGB the chance to come back because there were two players on full HP there. So they, you know, I think I would say it was 50-50 chance for them, and it's a great job by by Devilwalk there. Yeah, and I do want to ask you, you know, you just saw Khan behind Fnatic then. Yeah. Um, if you were behind LGB right now, and you're obviously down on the slightly yeah. easier side, what would you be saying to them? You know, you are the motivational guy. You're the one who kind of generally gets these guys pumped up. What would be the words that you tell them? Well, basically, you know, to, to play their own game. Don't be afraid because you're, you're on a stage, just play like you do. Normal matches and practice like it's any other game. And I, I think it's re really important for Olaf Meister and Dennis, who I think are the two big stars in the team, that they, they start fragging, that they start feeling confident, that they, they feel like they're seeing pretty much at home or in yeah. like the, the yesterday or, or two days ago, sorry. Uh, like, they, they, they get into the mood. That, that's really important right now. Let's see if they can find that form pretty damn soon. At the moment, Crims has got the opener. They're finding Flusher, so great start coming out from LGB this time. They need to get four more players. We've got JW up, Schneider, Devork, and Pronax all over by A. This time, Flusher not going to be able to be down Banana this time, so... Uh, maybe Crims and Saib have a little bit of uh, relaxing time there, but Dennis has found Pronax. That's a perfect start for him, and building that confidence up, running with that orb. He missed the early exchange with JW, but they're making it work now on the site. Devil, Schneider, and JW have to pull sign together. They are starting to push through here. A couple of tanks going. LGB fully set up. 40 seconds left. JW has found Olaf, however, so Fnatic certainly still dangerous as the push is going to be starting. Oh! Like he's finding that form. Yeah, it, it looks like he, he did in first rounds as well with yeah. his M4. I mean, they had some bad luck, had to do a lot of Ecos. But sure. right now, it's, it looks like he's on track with his AWP as well. So, I mean, if he can start landing his AWP shots, it's, it's going to be crucial for them to get back in this game and maybe get, I mean, best case, obviously, nine rounds, but something like eight at least, yeah, I think they'll be fa fairly satisfied with, considering it's a quite balanced map at the moment. It is. You know, I, I speak to a lot of teams, and, you know, the one person who was a real advocate for that. I'll come back to that in a second. It looks like a nice aggressive start from LGB. They're getting that confidence there. Peeking down towards Banana, getting the nade down, getting the spam down, picking up Schneider and taking up Flusher and Pronax and getting away fairly unscathed. Only Crim's taking a touch of damage, but nice start for them. They're not giving Fnatic that freedom. They're really no. getting that pressure there now. No, that's, that's exactly what I talk about. Feeling confident, doing that stuff. You know, staying there and spraying those bullets. Like, if, if you're afraid, you're not going to do that. And now you got an entry frag for it and, and, and managed to damage them quite a lot as well for, for your staying there, so perfect play, and they need to play, play, play like that. Let's see if they can handle the pressure now, because it looks like Fnatic are flooding in. Dennis is on the rotate, but Crims needs to step up right now. He's got another kill on the board. Sype does the job as well to watch Flusher, but still JW alive and Pronax. JW has to hold on to this. He's at a huge deficit, but Pronax doing the work onto Devil War. Dennis even, and here we go. LGB really well played then. And yeah. I've got to ask you the question, how come they just held on to that so well then? Uh, I think they managed to do so much damage there when they actually had right. the guts to go out there and stand and spray and two nades coming down the banana. So, yep. so I, I think it was like 250, 300, yeah, 250 HP in total that got removed from Fnatic. They felt confident, they smoked the bomb site, and Fnatic, they, they know they had to take a gamble, smoked the bomb site, just rushed up and sprayed. I think it was pretty lucky that he didn't get killed there uh, yeah. through the smoke. And I mean, so yeah, they, they were just in the upper hand. They should, should win that most of the times when they're attacking the bomb site there. Well, we are seeing the scoreline getting quite close now. Four to six, it's looking a lot better yeah. for LGB now. Finding their confidence, finding their footing. Yeah, and what's and really important here as well is that Fnatic has Nikos. Normally, this should be a quite easy round for sure. LGB. And uh, you can see they're starting building some money. You have 6,400 with 5.8 ton crimps. Well, it looks like they're going to be holding on to this for now. Nice work from Shire and Pronax, though, taking down the two B players. But Dennis is coming over the rotate. Devilwalk and Pronax still alive. Bomb is down. And they've got a little bit of time to get set up here. Devilwalk in a nice little spot, but he's only on 7 HP, so that really could hinder him in this. Pronax trying to just dodge me the bullets. Nice shot from Pronax there, finding Olaf, bring it back all even. Treacherous times though, he's so low. Dennis has found in a lovely nade from Twist, just eliminating Fnatic. That it was, was a close round yeah, though. Yeah, it was a really close round considering, but it, that's like we talked about before the game actually started. You <laughs> know, the so-called eco rounds you have nowadays, really dangerous. And, and you can see there, actually Devilwalk is somewhat unlucky there because he run, tries to, to flank. I, I can't remember who it was ru running into the pool there, mm -hmm. but he, he, he had one guy behind him as well. Otherwise, it would have been some really clutch play there by him. He probably could have gotten at least one. Allowing Pronax to come up big. Sure, so five to six. Score's getting close now. Yeah. You know, LGB starting to build up that confidence. 
starting to look a little bit dangerous. And Fnatic, look like their game style's kind of been worked out a little bit here. You know, that banana presence early on has been kind of pressured by the 2B players. Yeah. They're getting that confidence. As you said, they're really starting to be happy to challenge. And it seems to be working out quite well, you know. We can see them backing away. But, you know, Fnatic are getting pushed here. How do they adapt to this now? Uh, they, they can't really do anything except try to wait them out, wait the smokes out. Inferno is like a map. You can smoke so many angles that you just have to sit and wait and be patient pretty much doing it. I mean, walking through smoke, it's suicide most of the time. Not a great start for Dennis this time. He does miss the opening shot there as he's seen at least one T player making the way through towards CT Arch. But now we are seeing JW and Schneider now going for him for the challenge. Nice shot from Dennis there. Does miss the follow-up. However, one HP has to back away. But Crims now surrounded. B, swift rotate from Fnatic. And Crims is behind three players. Crims in the perfect spot. He's going to spray down, get one. Look for the second. Oh, he gets denied by Flusher. Snipe is still alive and kicking, however. And he's going to have to hold on to this because there's still Flusher alive with that bomb. We've got Olaf and Twist on the rotate. But Schneider, once again, in a great spot. They're getting behind each other. These flanks are unbelievable. But Flusher, two in a row. Leave Schneider up against Twist, the young, talented. Talented man of twist has to go big here to bring this back or even and Schneider is on the prowl 27 seconds bomb is loose he's got to pick that up and plant it or go for the kill up to him right now you see him both on your screen twist backed off towards banana he hears that bomb going down sprays through no connection bomb is down twist looking through the around the smoke trying to find a pixel of uh, fanatic Schneider flash coming in doesn't actually flash him up and you can see Twist is taking no chances here, and that bomb is starting to take quite quickly. And here we go! Twist holds on for another round and brings it back all even. And that has got to do wonders for the confidence. Yeah, yeah, that's going to make wonders for, for, for the self-esteem and everything, winning the, that round. Twist, you can see him when we're playing before in tournaments. He's been either really good or... Yeah. Sorry to say, but really bad. It happens, uh, he, yeah. he's, he's been like a headshot machine when it's on fire, and when it gets into the mood, it's real dangerous, and that's going to be really important for him for the rest of the match to actually ma make a clutch like that. I actually like Schneider's play there. He's smoking him away, taking somewhat good after plan and trying to stall him and just hoping mm. for, for, for <coughs> Twist to go through the smoke there, but it's experience enough not to do it. I've got to say then, you know, players are getting behind each other at the moment. You know, everyone seems to be getting behind each other. We had Schneider coming around the back there. Is it just all these smokes, as you said? You know, they smoke out this map. There's so many opportunities to do it, I guess. It is. It is a lot of opportunities doing it, but it's pretty uncommon to see people doing it in <laughs> that, in that extent. Times. Yeah, exactly. So that was really interesting to see. And I'm actually a big fan of that. It was good. For sure. And we are now seeing Olaf having to hold on as Fnatic are making their way towards the site. Nice play coming through, but he's not going to be landing the shot so easily. Finally gets it in the bag. A nice little pistol at the end there. Schneider goes down. And LGB are looking dangerous. Yeah, they look like they're back on track now. Get, getting a bit shaky start. Yep. And I think it's important for that Olaf M gets in the mood as well. He's an amazing player. And I, I really hope that he gets like into this game. Get the mood in. Uh, and also, I, I like, actually like the play there from Fnatic. I mean, they're, they're attacking the short A side yep. with basically no nades or nothing. Yeah. But that's around you need to like get catch LGB off guard because they might, might stand with a nade in their hand. You know, if you get entered, it's game over. But uh, yeah, right now, unfortunately for Fnatic, they didn't manage to do it. But I, I like to play in it, you know. Yeah, we are going to have to see Fnatic really start to pick things up because they've been struggling to get around on the board here for quite some time. And LGB just building up to this bit of a monster they're at right now. And early damage once again towards Fnatic. You know, Flusher being tagged up quite some way. Dennis still with that orb, just keeping eyes on that mid push. But it does seem as though Fnatic looking back towards that B site. Crims and Sype doing really well at the moment. Let's see if they can do it again. Crims does the damage. That's JW down into the action. Goes Sype. He gets one for himself through the smoke. And this little duo has become a bit of a monster. Fnatic are struggling to get through here. At the start, it looked like it was the easiest site to hit, but right now they're being stumped. Yeah, I mean, on paper, it is the easier site to hit, to hit on as well. And I, I don't know what Fnatic is gonna gonna do versus this because it, it just looks like LB are on point on the B bomb side sure. right now. It's not Fnatic doing too much mistakes, in my opinion. It's just that LB have found their, their self esteem and they're, they're playing great. Let's see if they can hold on against three more possible players with only 28 seconds left. Devilwalk, Schneider and Pronax now have to go into the slaughterhouse and Sype does well but not well enough. Schneider gets through on only 20 HP but still three more LGB players left alive. Bomb is down so at least a little bit more money but at the moment Schneider has to go pretty damn huge here. 
And he's going to be going around the back. We've seen these flanks going into effect. He gets one, gets the second. Schneider's on four. This could be an ace coming out for Fnatic. Can he do this though? 1v1 against Twist. Twist is on the bomb side. He sprays down. Schneider backs away. This is the close coming. He's going to go for the defuse. He's doing it. He's doing it right now. Can he get it? Oh, oh Schneider my God. gets a five, man. That is incredible play. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you cannot write Fnatic out. I mean, that was a one versus five ace. And it, after killing the first two guys, had 23 HP. I'm kind of speechless right now. I, I was like, okay, he's never gonna 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 win no this. No way, no, no way, no way, no way he's gonna win this. He's gonna get bombed down. He might get. He's doing the right thing, you know, rushing uh, the, yep. through the sideway and try to get flank somebody off of guard come from seed spawn. But more than that, that's I think that's more he could even <laughs> hope for himself. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's pretty surprised himself there. To be yeah, fair. Best round I've seen so far this tournament. Yeah, certainly. And Crims this time not going to get the easy shots off towards Fnatic. They've had that little boost of confidence now. Four players going towards Sype here. Fnatic are tagged up, however, so that'll be the easiest push. Sype does find one. A little charming in towards Flusher, and actually, Fnatic not really getting the damage done. Is now just Fnatic alive, but I'm not writing out any singular players now from nope. Fnatic. You know, we've already seen Schneider do something ridiculous. Maybe it's Fnatic's time. He's already got two, but you know, he's got the third. That's the hat trick finally gets put to bed. I was about to just <laughs> give up on thinking I even understand FPS games if one guy took down no, another five no, no, players. No, no, I, no. I think LGB was like, okay, this is not going to happen again, yeah, right? Yeah, no more. So, no more. Nah, I, th I think actually that that round was probably the nicest round I've seen so far this tournament. Amazing play by Snyder there. And uh, I would love to see those first two headshots as well. Amazing. Uh, pro probably some really cool stuff. And somewhat a good comeback here from LGB as well. They yep. had a really shaky start. Looks like they're getting into it and, you know, getting warm and close and trying, like, cooping with the, with the pressure on actually being on stage in front of a lot of people. So... Yeah, it's not a small yeah. audience out there. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it is actually a packed audience. And, yeah. you know, big thank you to all the guys sitting out in the audience. Very early on, obviously, you guys have been pretty awesome turning up this early. And it was absolutely rainy outside. Yeah. It was pretty miserable. And I saw people queuing for hours to get in here. And I think it's amazing. So what a great way to start things yeah, up for it's, all these guys. It's, it's <laughs> just like you said, with, with rain pouring down, it was, it, it was thousands of people standing yeah. outside in the rain just to watch eSports. I mean, it's it's really shown how, how long way we've, we've grown the last couple of years, and it's amazing. And uh, all you guys at home, you're a part of this as well. And I just want to say thank you to everybody for being a part of this amazing journey. It is becoming ridiculous, yeah, isn't it? You, know, you, you look back amazing. at the start of things when... You know, even CS was featured at, you know, the IEMs of, you know, back in the day, and it's still nothing like it is today. No, you know, no, you look at the size crazy. of it, and seeing players like this now having to yeah. deal with the pressure, it's completely different, you know. You know. There was obviously big tournaments back then, but now you have stadiums filled with people watching these guys every move. Every mistake they make is now completely visible to a gigantic audience of fans. You know, you, you do get nervous, geez, yeah. but, you know, players step up and become legends and yeah. you know we've seen NIP do it and we might be seeing another couple of teams joining them here and I think you know it's 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 all coming to a point and it's it's beautiful to watch so it hopefully is. you know you get another Swede through doing pretty well in this one uh, you know yeah. and and it it it's strange you know, everyone seems to live in the shadow of NIP but LGB really are starting to break through here as someone to take notice of you know the <laughs> first thing was Dreamhack you know they started to get the attention then picking a map off you know their Swedish counterparts of NIP and now they're doing very well for themselves here. You know, it's, it is building up, and I think we are ready to get underway yeah. in the second half here, ladies and gents. So let's get ready for this one. If scoreline is LGB 8, Fnatic 7, it's a ridiculously close game. And we are going to get underway with Schneider already Ooh. finding off. What a great start for the uh, Fnatic boys. Pick up the first kill so early on. And, uh, you know, LGB on the T side, Fnatic on the CT side. And we are seeing Fnatic really getting aggressive, not giving a second for LGB to think about anything, and Devilwalk finding two. This looks like a dangerous situation already. Twist has found Schneider, but still, on before, it's not looking too good, is it? No, it's not. And I mean, this is pretty much what Fnatic needs to do. They, they need a really good pistol round, obviously, to yep. win it. But if you look at it, the first half, only getting seven rounds. One of them was one versus five aids, aids and yep. winning with the, the... When they have, like, the pistol round, getting two ecos, and the aids in the, in the end, it's like... It's. They didn't it's, get that many gun no, rounds. No, they, they didn't. didn't. Get it, yeah. They, they looked really shaken it as well. So, and I, I mean, there was. I think they won like two weapons rounds. Maybe. Three, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they weren't doing a really bad, bad job on that part. So I mean, and also like I said before, going aggressive on the pit, CT pistol round can, can take the terrorist off guard, and you know, not just sitting there waiting for them to come into your crosshair. That's. 
that's that's not good. So I mean, they're doing a great job. Sure. Now I want to ask you a quick question. You know, it looks like LGB are looking to do a little bit of damage here, deagles and armor. What's their plan right now? I mean, it's just like, like we talked about before. It's so dangerous with, with the so-called eco round. We see a fairly common anti-eco from Fnatic though, rushing down the middle. You yeah. see teams doing that all the time right now. It's probably one of the best anti-eco rounds there is at the moment. Not just standing on your position, getting pointed out one by one. Twist. Oh, beautiful shot towards JW then, eventually landing that deagle. As you said, so dangerous. They've already picked up a P90, they've still got the armor, they've still got the other you know, pistols in the mix, and now Devil with Pronax and Flusher are in a little bit of trouble. We've got an M4 by Flusher, but the rest are, you know, not, not the best of weapons to be having with you, but let's see if they can do it here. I would actually say that, I mean, any time is three versus three with uh, somewhat even HP. I mean, it's only Cypress, somewhat low. Yeah. I would say the advantage is by far at the terrorists because they can go either way. It's, it's going to be one one guy at one bomb site. If you choose the right one, it's going to be three versus one. You should be able to take him down. So well, Pronax down. might be that target. He is the solo player on B. He's been spotted out. Twist looking for that deagle shot. Going to be peering through. Pronax backs away. He goes back for more with the flash. Flusher and Devilwalk still considering their options. Oh, lovely shot from Twist. That has opened up the B side. Here comes Sype. Here comes Twist. Dennis, however, backing away. Oh, then they're not committing. They're not going for this. Devilwalk has rotated. Flusher stayed on A. They're just this drawing is really dangerous, this attention. Though. But this is Flusher. Yeah. He's the one with the M4. He's still fully set up. He does catch a glimpse of one. He gets the tag. He gets the kill. <laughs> oh! How the hell did he pull that off? That is two kills. I think he only even saw one of them, but he still made it work and Devil Walk holds on. But it was getting dangerous then. I, I think actually when you, when you only have 25 seconds left when you get that yeah. entry in, on, in the banana, you, you rush on. I mean, it's... it's, <laughs> it's uh... <laughs> wow, buddy. Thank you for that steal. Steal will be fired after this game, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, basically, I mean, just rushing there, it means one guy, uh, uh, just, just stand like this, because you're not going to be able to get the bomb down if it yeah. takes a good position there and it's game over. It's, I, I think it's a, that's experience or inexperience for, for LGB kicking in there. Yeah. Maybe we need to get you standing behind them, you know, helping them out a little bit. We'll just uh, wheel you out there. No, no, you're no, doing no, a great I'm job casting. Oh, okay. So. Ninja only, all right. Yeah. Geez. Exclusive heat. <laughs> JW has picked up Dennis, but obviously the T side this time not looking so dangerous with just those pistols, no armor, not much uh. to write home about. But, you know, they could still pick up a couple as Olaf has found JW. And, you know, even if it's just to get a little bit more confidence beside yourself, every kill really does matter. It does, it does. I mean, that self confidence you get from a frag in Nick around taking down JW. I mean, it's huge yeah, for, for sure. going into next round. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And doing that with a Glock, no armor versus, uh, versus M4 with armor. I mean, it's going to be huge. Imagine next round when you have an AK-47 versus the M4. Of course, you're going to have like a little a slight. You're like, yeah, yeah I, I've got this. One. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Yeah. so let's see if that happens. Now, obviously, uh, good couple of rounds back to back for Fnatic. It's, it got close. You know, we had a couple of dangerous situations, but in the end, it was dealt with by a possible aimbot. We're not sure. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, but the scoreline is eight to ten. Fnatic have taken over the lead after picking up the initial pistol. No surprise, they converted the next two. You know, they got a little bit shaken. But now this is the big danger round. This is where LGB can do some real damage, and Fnatic have to be quite careful here. You know, it comes down to this. We are seeing a little bit of a different play. A couple of players up second mid. Zip and Twist just taking the time down by Banana. Yeah, and I mean, if LGB starts rolling this one, it's not going to be... I mean, Fnatic is, is going to be able to buy next round, probably. But uh, yeah. I, I think their economy is going to be struggling a lot. So this is kind of a must run for Fnatic, I would say. I mean, LGB I think, can still manage if they lose this one, because Terror side yep, doesn't side, cost too obviously. much money. But it, right now, it's, uh, it's so important. Well, let's find out. As uh, Fnatic still laying in wait, playing it quite carefully, not being aggressive. Pronax a little bit pushed out there, actually. Received a lot of damage and a 43 HP. And actually, Fnatic are receiving a good chunk. Oh, nice nade, however, towards Crimson. Schneider goes down to Dennis. This is LGB looking dangerous here. They work their way in, but they're split. Let's bear in mind. Two plays by A, three by B. They're yeah. outnumbering Pronax and Devilwalk on that B side. If they hit this one up, they're in a good spot. Flusher has found Dennis, follows up towards Crims. So now it's all down to the B contingency plan, and Olaf does the damage. Devilwalk has to get into the action, but he can't. Olaf takes him down as well. This is looking brilliant here for these guys. 2v2, but the bomb should be going down fairly uncontested. And now T-Side can get set up. Yeah, I mean, right now they have enough time to get, get good after plans. It's, it's a big advantage for the terrorists right now. So I would say 75-25 for them. 
they probably should work together a bit more though in their after plan positions in my opinion. Yeah, they seem quite separated here, but let's yeah. see if they can make a count. Olaf there, that's his third this round. He could be claiming four if he goes for JW, and he has beautiful play from Olaf. As you said, brilliant player, he's stepping up and he is looking good. Maybe it's that Glock kill on JW the round <laughs> before the major, right? Uh, but uh, yeah, he's, he's a great player, he's winning that round, not single-handedly, but he's, he's a big, big part of winning that. So, yeah. And really, Fnatic has to have an eco round now. But don't count out the eco rounds, as we said. When people have victorious, it's like, hmm, yeah, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had this rude awakening after watching one event where it was like every eco they just decided to turn over. I was like, okay, I'm just never assuming anything about these rounds. No. And uh, already, though, big damage towards Devil Walk there. Nice nade takes him down to 17 HP, so B looking a little bit weaker. But obviously, you know, LGB respecting the fact that these rounds are dangerous. They're not just, you know, running in half handedly, taking their time. Clearly being cautious about it here, and you know what's what's the best way to play this through? Because we know that p these pistol rounds are dangerous. How do you take it carefully enough that you don't start losing players and giving away guns? I mean, you play it super cautiously. It's <laughs> like you, you can't play it cautiously enough. It's like you, you need somebody to either you know, if you go down, you need somebody behind you to Straight follow away. up. Yeah, so right. it's a four versus four, and they can't get control of a weapon or start rotating and scoping, uh, creating mass confusions because that's normally how you win the round. You get one. People start attacking from all kind of different angles. So you need yep. to keep it calm and you know be with your teammates. Then it, yeah, you have the upper hand because you have weapons, but it's still tight. Yeah, it still is. JW and Flush are still alive, and JW oh. has got two. That is big play from this man. Oh, he finally gets taken down by Olaf. It looks like he's his kryptonite this game. And Twist will fly in Flusher, and now we are back all even, all square. And this game, you know, I I didn't think it'd be this close. You know, I, you look on it on paper, maybe Fnatic after picking up obviously the Dreamhack yeah. victory. You'd say they're maybe more favoured, but recent performances alone, LGB are looking brilliant here. Yeah, they are. And Olaf uh, topping the scoreboard with 18 frags right now. Wow. Um, and I mean, <laughs> when he's on fire, it's really dangerous for Fnatic. And he's getting into it. Had a bit of a rough start. Yeah, they did. Uh, yeah. But right now, looking on point. Well, let's see if they can keep this one up. Obviously, a little bit of a mixed bag on in Schneider, only with uh, Famous, but Devil has picked, you know, picked up the first kill, finding Twist. That's an important one as well, considering how well he's been playing. But interesting stacking up three players by B for the Fnatic CT side, whereas uh, Flusher and JW left to hold on to A on their own. And a nice deep smoke comes out from Fnatic, kind of cutting that one off. Yeah, so like, just still dancing with it. Yeah, we can see Fnatic doing that quite a lot on the CT side, going yep. three people down banana. And it, yeah, helps him a lot there. Let's see if it uh, gives him any more control now. We are seeing Schneider actually rotating around towards that A site. He's now joining Flusher and JW. They're taking their time though. You know, the T side, they're not rushing this. They don't have pressure now. They look like they found that comfortable area where they like playing in. And they're looking good now. Let's yeah. see if they can actually convert this to a round win though. Yeah. It does look like Dennis has opened up towards JW. Shine's <laughs> replied, but LGB a brew forcing their way through A, but they've not committed yet. Sype and Crims still both down. Oh, lovely play from Sype, but he does get picked up by Pronax. Is back to a 2v2. And now who's got the advantage here? Uh, uh, wow, that, I think it's, it's a really open round because everybody's everywhere yep. right now. Normally a terrorist, but at the moment, yeah, Fr Pronax is really low oh, though. Flusher. So. Look at his position as he's right behind Crims, who has the bomb. That's vital there. Only 14 seconds left. Oh. And there we have it. The final frag will come in from Pronax onto Olaf and just positioning alone. They're yeah, the only do. positioning. Even though Pronax was down at 14 HP there, uh, normally the terrorists have the advantage, but that was like, was, <laughs> I don't know, it was like a mixture. Everybody was everywhere on the map yeah. and it's, oh wow. What you can do. So, clearly, someone in another game is going crazy. There's like casters over the back there just <laughs> yelling. I was like, geez, yeah. they are really excited about watching people buying guns. But I, I, I'm assuming they're on a different game, but at the current <laughs> moment, LGB on 10, Fnatic on 11, still very close. Fnatic just edging ahead, but you, you can't call it either way right now. Oh. It's, you know, it's so close to call, and we are seeing a big presence from the T side towards the A site. Um, They've not even left anyone by B now. Yeah, and what, what's really dangerous for Fnatic right now, if you lose this round, it's going to be a real tough economy. Uh, they're going to have no money because JW mm. has a shotgun at the moment. Well, let's see what Crims can do. He's just plowing with the pistol. He does yeah. find Schneider. Takes him down to 3 HP, but JW helping out. Picks up Dennis. JW again Double. onto Twist. That gun is so dangerous in this man's hands. That makes him really got put to work. And to be fair, Olaf now the last man standing. I don't know what you can do, but really just meet your maker with JW. Yeah. Picking up three that round with that gun. Yeah, it's wow. so important. He's getting so much money for that as well. And picking up an AK, yep. getting three frags with that. 
And JW, when he's on fire, he's... I would, JW I would, best. I'm sorry for saying... No, I'm not going to say anything bad, but he's a pain to play versus, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, <laughs> and he, he's probably <laughs> going to get some good self-esteem coming out from that. It, was, it looks like be on fire that round. He certainly can be a key factor to their yeah, advantage. You know, when he's on point, it's very hard to stop someone like that. And Pronex now, they're feeling aggressive, they're feeling good about this Pronex, and they were both going down. Obviously, just pistols against them. And now Dennis, little to do but die here, unless he can maybe pick up a gun, and JW's gonna find that as well. And you don't wanna keep feeding this man, you know, kills, nope. getting him uh, getting pumped up right now. And we are seeing you know, Fnatic doing well for themselves. 13 to 10, uh, getting, you know, fairly going this one. Yeah. They've actually been picking up good rounds here, rather than just, you know, the the anti ecos and you know a couple of pistol rounds yeah, in the back. So they're, they're doing better. I feel. And what, what can you see? What you can see that round is that Pronax and Karn they have full control over the, the economy for LGB because you see them rushing down the middle again. That's anti eco round that they're doing to you know so the terrorists can capitalize on you standing there waiting yep. for somebody. And they, they, so they, they're they're on track with with their money. So they have full control over LGB at the moment. And what we're we're doing and what they can afford at the moment that's so important. Yeah, and let's see if LGB can break out of this one now. They do seem to be almost strangled by Fnatic with every single uh, gun buy, every single first pick that happens. It seems to be going in Fnatic's favor right now, but still very close score. It won't take much for this to turn around, but LGB needs to start getting this in the bag. And at the moment, JW's in this real dangerous spot, but he has been picked up this time by Crims. So that is a big dangerous factor out of this round. But can they make any more of this? Uh, Schneider, Devil, Pronax, and Flush are still in their way, but it's an even split by side, but actually Pronax coming over towards the A side, leaving just Devil Walk by B, and it looks like the T side are going for the B side. Yeah, looks like it, <coughs> and it's only Devil Walk there, so if he needs to either hold him back long enough for Tation to come in here, or, you know, kill quite a lot <laughs> of people to, to actually be able to win this round. Really important fact about Pronax in the middle. Yeah, really denying any little bit of a peek there from Twist. And uh, there we he, are, seeing he's reading, Yeah, he's reading game Perfect. so good. Probably, yeah, his team game leader might be his Karn say, telling him, rotate, rotating towards B. Um, and they are being met by a wall of fire and Devil Walk to boot, and Pronax joins in, finally broken down by Olaf, but he's left on 5 HP with Flusher and Schneider coming in. Uh, I'd love to see him pull this off to get a nice little quad kill, but it's yeah. not going to happen. Schneider, well played, and as you said, how well they were reading that Yeah, round, I mean, Pronax pretty much single-handedly won that round, I would yep. have to say, because they were down 4 versus 5 with Terrorist. We're going to attack the, the B bomb site with, with only Devil Walk standing in it. He, he gets the, uh, the first kill in the middle, so it's a 4 yep. versus 4. He immediately understands this is a fake because he knows the game so well. So he's rotating towards B, just like Steel is pointing there, and, <coughs> and you know, telling Devil Walk to Molotov there. So they actually take a lot of damage running in there, getting slowed, and he, he managed to, to rotate all the way through the, through the sideway and coming in there, getting a kill, and uh, hurting the last guy to 5 HP. So. Really, really pl smart play there. That, that really shows how much you can play only using... I mean, you don't have to be the best aimer. You can only use your brain. I mean, he's a great aimer, but don't get me wrong. But <laughs> but uh, it wasn't the aim that pulled him through no. on that round. It was no, certainly exactly. the uh, the smarts behind it. And we are now seeing the T-side almost push back to spawn. A very aggressive Fnatic. Devil Walk and JW flying down Banana. Schneider coming all the way up. And this is a very different team from how we saw at the start. JW getting dinged down a little bit, has to back away. Obviously, T-Side do have the AKs with them, and Twist, still alive, can do a lot of damage. He's picked up Devil Walk there, so you know, not a bad way to kick things off here. And actually, big change up here for the CT side. Almost a full stack towards B, just leaving Flusher here down by the A site. And very interesting round, very unique round, not like we've seen just yet. Twist, Dennis, Zype, and Olaf. Left alive and Prime Action Schneider, they're just so happy being aggressive right now. Yeah, it's unbelievable to watch. They are. And th th that's how you can utilize Inferno, though, because if you smoke somewhere, you know that terrorists can't attack there for yep. during the period where they smoke, because that's suicide. And they, they're actually, they're, that's his mind game. So Prime is running through the smoke. Oh, but look at Twist coming up there. Oh, this is yeah, a great spot, though. He managed to get two, though, from, from only good timing there. He's got three now. He got the start, and now he's got two back to back. That's big play from yeah. Twist, and as you said, the smokes are so vital, but when you don't expect someone like Twist yeah. to be waiting around the corners, here comes Dennis, it's a 2v1, they might have just turned this on his head. Can Flusher do this though? To take Fnatic to map point at least here. Dennis and Twist holding on, Flusher pushing in slowly, carefully. He thinks he knows where Dennis is, he's caught a glimpse, but Dennis just teasing him with bullets, but the nades coming through just about missing Twist, but this is very, very tense now. 
every single peak. Matters and Twist doing big work yeah. there. Four kills, really well played. Yeah, really um, a great round there by Twist, and also really good team play by Dennis and Twister. And then. So basically what Dennis is doing is dragging all the tension for Twist, who's real low. He's going to die from a bullet yep. to hide in, in the quad area, where he's not going to be able to check if Dennis is just, you know, peeking and trying to draw attention from him. It's a great after plan showing that they're really communicating with each other in that sense. But on the other hand, Fnatic has a lot of money left, so they're going to be able to buy pretty much all of the rounds left, even though LGB is starting to catch things up. Well, let's see if the slightly more aggressive Fnatic can do anything in. Oh, lovely stuff from Schneider going for the early peak there. Does pick up the frag onto Olaf, but JW is still alive and kicking within these apartments. Dennis is literally next to him. And Dennis cautiously looking for a way in here. And JW, as you can see, literally on the other side of this wall. And at the moment, Crims has joined Dennis, so JW might be outnumbered, but certainly not outgunned. And right now, we are going to see if they pick him up, but JW playing it carefully. He's been cautious. And here we go, JW leads into action. Oh, Ooh. beautiful play oh from JW. God. What a shot. As you said, he's the one you never want to come up against. And he's proving it point by point. And now just Zypen to his left. There's not much you can do here. No, nah, but look at how low Actually, Fnatic players are. It's I mean, very good point. one bullet on, on three of those guys, they're down. And I mean, they have Twist, who's been making some hero rounds. Mm, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, caster's cuts, <laughs> you know, you, you put him up to that. But as you said, they did get him low. Actually, I didn't even notice how low Schneider and Pronax yeah. were. But it's like, it's in a bit of a pickle there. Bomb is down right in front of Devil Walk. So he's going to have to brute force his way in. 26 seconds, there's not much else he can do. But go for it. Oh, he got them so low. But not enough, and, and Devil Walk stays alive. What, what I love that round, I think it was Schneider, who we, uh, together with JW went aggressive in the apartments there. He got headshotted through the wall, down yep. to 22 HP. Normally what most people would do is to fall back. Yes. But they had a round where they go out at the same time, and he still stays there. Like, a lot of people would have would have went away, and leaving one by one and cancelling the round. But he goes out there and he managed to get the entry. It's so important. That it's very common that people have the nerves to actually do it on a big stage in such an important game. Well, we are now seeing Fnatic on map point here. Bear in mind, this is a best of three. It's not all about one map this time. Let's find out if they can get it done this round. We do have Flusher backing away. Schneider and JW now have the entirety of LGB flooding in, and Flusher is doing the work. Beautiful play between Flusher and JW, picking up everyone and just dominating them. Twist, last man standing. Not much to do but die, and Fnatic with a fantastic first map, picking up the final round there. And I, you know, credit to the likes of Schneider, Flusher, and JW in that round, yeah. really playing well. Yeah, Schneider playing an amazing game, and I think his ace. Uh, I mean, I, I don't have any words for that one. It was just amazing. Yeah. Fnatic playing calm. You can.